Hey, it's uh, day 136 of Hey, What Are You Doing Today? 136 days. I forgot to mention something uh, something from yesterday. And yesterday I managed to get uh, get my seven minute mile. Um, it's a pretty big deal. I, you know, I didn't even think about it. I just got up, uh, got up in the morning with the in intent to do it. And, uh, and uh, you know, just did it. Um, wasn't as tough as I thought it would. I mean, I did get winded, but it's pretty interesting to think that you know, in 100, it was 135 days yesterday. So at 135 days, I went from not really even able to run a mile, running at five miles an hour, and you know, and stopping and, um, and stopping and starting. I think I think my first, I think one of my first miles I recorded was like 13 and a half minutes or something. So in 135 days I went from 13 and a half minutes to seven uh, I'm, I'm kind of proud of that I mean that's a good number it's the fastest I've ever run a mile and, and as far as I know I think even going back to, to grade school when they first tested us on the mile and, and those kind of things I remember how tough that was um, yeah, uh, but uh, but that was you know it was a big deal that I, I overlooked I forgot about that so I made a seven minute mile um, today's day 136 it was kind of a I didn't I didn't really have any kind of an, uh, any any major epiphanies. I you know I don't really know uh, what to what to talk about today other than to to mention that I did the uh, got my seven minute mile and, uh, and I'm, I'm pretty psyched about that. Now today when I got up to run, oh yeah, let's uh, I can talk about that. So today I I get up to run and. Um, I could feel just a little bit of tenderness in my knee. I think, you know, at eight and a half miles an hour, that was a pretty big jump from, I was pushing myself a bit at seven and a half miles an hour, even though I can run, you know, two miles fairly comfortably, not comfortably, but not like, you know, not killing myself. But to jump to 8.5 was a little bit of a push. And, you know, I think that uh, I, I could just feel a little bit of softness in my knee this morning. And, you know, I know how, how it is sometimes. Uh, I didn't want to, to push that and, and, and create an injury because um, one you know one little thing like that running you know, I've heard running through the pain but I've ran through the pain before and, and what was a small pain turned into you know a week-long thing so I decided to take it easy I did just a half mile and I got off but then you know today I just I, I just I felt like I missed it I felt I, I missed that energy that that, uh, that running generates that the activity generates I missed the uh, you know, the, the there's a an elation, a euphoria that comes from it, and uh, even though I got a half a mile, I still count it as a run. I still count it as a, you know, I haven't missed a day of running. Um, but it was it was to to note that I had missed that was uh, that I missed the feeling that I you know today I, I could tell something was missing from my uh, from my from my. Uh, for my my daily experience the other thing that i found kind of interesting today was um uh, this is the first time i noticed where i went to you know i was, I was kind of hungry and i actually went looking for to see what kind of fruit i had i mean uh, that would have never happened 135 days ago i've, I've totally retrained my palate retrained you know my my desires and, and for, for what kind of food i want i've been in situations before where and I, and I think I mentioned this before, where you know, minding a diet was uh, was one thing. Um, when it was a when it was just a diet, you know, I felt like it was just a temporary thing, and then it, you know, I, psychologically, I always wanted that other food. However, this time around, something different occurred, and I actually, you know, just just changed it into this this repetition and now my body's changed and now I actually crave the the kinds of foods I should be eating oddly enough and you know if I eat something that I I don't really crave any greasy foods anymore um, I, you know I, I used to have big cravings for things like that you know pizza or you know french fries or any kind of you know, fried items those kind of things now anything fried kind of um, I don't know, it just kind of makes me cringe and wince a little bit. If I do eat something that's not so good, I, I don't feel good. I mean, it's just, uh, it's, 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 it's good the way that uh, the habit has developed itself, uh, you know, the lifestyle change. And, you know, I, I could easily fall back into that by, by eating poorly, for, you know, for, for a few days in a row, I'm sure, you know. Um, but it's like, a, it's like a, you know, something has truly changed. Uh, I'm, I'm grateful for that. You know, that apple I had today was actually really good. I really enjoyed it. it you know, it wasn't it wasn't uh, a forced thing. It was actually, uh, you know, 
an enjoyable food. Um, but uh, I don't have too much more than that. You know, I got my seven minute mile and uh, and uh, my, uh, my, my, I'm pretty confident my diet's changed. So uh, we'll leave it at that. That's day 136. Hey, what are you doing today? Thanks.